for more than thirty years researcher lynn rogers has walked with bears in northeastern minnesota learning the types of food they eat the places they travel and the dens they choose for hibernation in winter this is a traveling kind of bear today rogers is looking for an eight year old female bear he calls braveheart and using a radio signal on a special collar she wears to find her it's me braveheart it's me it's me bear i could tell from the radio signal that she's moving I don't know if she'll hold for us or not. We'll see. Rogers knows the bear is nearby, but for a long it's while me. she keeps moving deeper and deeper into a swamp, unsure it don't seems just who her pursuer might be. Okay, where are you, bear? Huh. She might be out a little ways into this alder swamp. Oh. Oh. She is me. She is me. I got a couple guys with me, but. Whoa, are you leaving? Now, one thing to look at is the, the ribbons, which we put on over a month ago. And, uh,. Then, as suddenly, the bear stops, and Rogers reassures her by throwing a handful of hazelnuts in her direction. See, she's comfortable with me. She's sitting down. Together once again, the two sit alongside one another in the swamp as Rogers checks her heartbeat and changes the batteries in her collar. Let's keep eating bear because hmm, it's better than traps and tranquilizers. Hmm. See, the interesting thing is she's just scanning the forest all the time for what danger is there. People don't realize how timid black bears are. Okay, we got it. Okay, just keep looking for danger. They're not the aggressive animals that people think. Okay, bear. I'm trying to get your heart rate. Lynn, tell us about this bear. How old is she? Uh, this is Braveheart. She's eight. Okay. Uh, she's part of the bear clan that we're following. Uh, I've, I've known her since she was a cub. And it's a bear that hardly anybody sees. Mm -hmm. Now, we tracked her quite a ways yes. this afternoon. And then finally in circles. Yes. And do you think she winded us? Oh, yeah. To yeah. confirm who it was? Yes. Yep. Oh, fine. Now, when you called her, you, as we were walking, and you were calling to her and then using the uh, radio transmitter to try to locate how far she was from us, mm -hmm. when you were calling to her and yet she was still on the move, do you think she had a sense that it was okay? If, if she had sensed that it was danger, would she have moved out much quicker, do you think? Uh, no, that's typically what they do is they just uh, slip around very quietly on their soft foot pads in this moss. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's just this dense stuff. They, they often like to stay in it. Mm -hmm. um, she has just moved out. Like if I would try to get near her without saying it's me bear, uh, no chance of seeing her. Okay. It's just... <laughs> now, now, you just checked her heart rate a moment ago. It's uh, first uh, few days of October, and what is her heart rate? Uh, 44. And what would you expect it to be when she dens up? Um, could be 44, yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, when she's sleeping, it'll drop uh, lower than that, but for an active heart rate of only 44, when the normal is up between 70 and 100, is a significant drop. Mm -hmm. 
And would you expect her then to be denning up soon, very soon? Uh, I hope so. And she has visited her den. Let's stand up now.